action, your action, when you are anger or angry, that may dishonor God. In other words, your emotion is tainted by your sinful nature. We have a sinful nature. Our emotions is tainted by our sinful nature. That's why we need to control it. We have a sinful nature. We need to control our emotions. The Bible tells us we are to be controlled, not by your emotions, but by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit should guide you, should control your life, not our emotions. There are lots of verses, I don't want just to mention lots of verses, but just go to the Psalms and you will feel, and you will see lots of emotions, lots of emotions. And how to manage these emotions. Sharing the feeling with others can control your emotions. When you share your feelings, when you go to your father's confession, or a spiritual father, one of your friends you love, and talk with him about, I am angry with so and so, he will make you calm down. Maybe he'll give you advice. Just be controlled. Manage your anger. That's wrong. That's not good. It's not good for your life. It's not good for your health. So sharing your feeling with others who trust is very helpful to control your or to manage your emotions. God has given us the gift of other people. Friends, dad and mom, Abuna, some colleagues, some of your spiritual friends, these people will share you. So share your feelings with others. When you show it, share your feelings with others, you get benefited. When are you feeling discouraged or afraid, we can benefit for encouragement. Exhortation, assurance of our believer who provides that for us. So other believers, our friends, your father of mission will help you, encourage you, will exhort you just to manage your anger. Often, when we encourage others, we ourselves are encouraged. When we joy, when we share the joy in our life, with others, our joy will increase. When you share the joy, your joy will increase. When you share, when you share your fear, your fear will increase. Likewise, I'm sorry, allowing our emotions to control us is not a godly manner. Allowing your emotions control your life is not a godly manner. Denying your emotion is not a godly manner as well. So we do not deny it. We do not allow it to control our life. We should thank God for our emotions. We should thank him. Be very grateful to God that you have feelings of love and care and compassion, anger. Anger may be very helpful for you if it is controlled. We cannot flee from our emotions. We can. We can't flee from our emotions, therefore we have to deal with it. We have to deal with all your emotions because we can flee from it. 
management of the emotion is critical. It is very critical to manage your emotion unless you will destroy your life. You will be loser if you don't manage your emotions. The way we manage our emotions is so easy. If you work hard on it, we have so many ways. Number one, we have to grow in our walk with God. You have to work on your spiritual life, in your relationship with God. We are transformed by two things, the way you think and the Holy Spirit. So if you wanted to change your emotion, to control your emotions, please it change the way you think. Number two, let the Holy Spirit to control your wife. What we need is that. Number one, daily reading the Holy Gospel. Read, have the man of God or the men of God control their emotions, to learn from them, to control yours. Number two, you have to have a desire to know more about God and to know more about your relationship with God. Number three, spend time with God, pray, talk, learn from Him. God as well has emotions. We feel God when he went to the synagogue, he got angry. God love us, God is love. Love is emotion. God has emotions like us. We were created in the image of God. Number four, seek to have more and strong relationship with the people who are spiritual. And their emotions are controlled. And they can control their emotions. Learn from them. Ask them how we did that. Help me. Take their advice. Have Christian fellowship with the saints, with the fathers, with some of your friends, spiritual friends, that will help you a lot. Just, I will mention for you the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And you will tell me, is, is there emotion or not? Number one, love. Is that emotion? Joy. Okay, peace. Okay, patience. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. This is the fruits of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Note that how each term of these fruits of the Holy Spirit carries emotional Connotations, emotional connotations. It has joy. It's emotion. So the Holy Spirit will control your emotions and your life. Of course, we have some emotions opposite from the fruits of the Holy Spirit. As Baba Shnuda said, just change one by one. If you are anger, change it with my love. If you are worrying, change by have a trust in God. Have trust, have peacefulness in God. Just change the bad emotions with a good emotion. Don't let your bad emotions just control you. It is the contrast 
of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. If you leave the Holy Spirit to guide you and control your life, your emotions will be controlled and managed. The work of the Holy Spirit is very strong in our life. So let the Holy Spirit work in your life. This evidence that we, we have an emotional impact from the Holy Spirit very clear in the Bible. Just go to Ephesians chapter 5 and you will see that there is lots of uh, parts in the Bible talk about that. But the, the question I want to ask you, are the emotions of God like our emotions or not? Let me make it easier for you a little bit. If God be angry, what's the difference of when God be angry and we when he get angry? What's the difference? Hmm? I want to hear from you. Absolutely different. What do what what different? What's the difference? If he is angry like us, he will destroy the whole earth from the beginning. Well, like Solomon was born and he got the flood. God could have been pissed, but he wasn't going to be like us. Our anger, our anger is subjective. Our anger is volatile. Our anger is not controlled. Sometimes we can control it. But just look for God's anger. Anger is perfectly righteous. Perfectly righteous, predictable. Never be malicious, and at the end, never sin. Even when God become anger, He never sin. But when we can become anger or angry, wow, we destroy everything in front of us. Right? We destroy everything. I think I I, I heard about one of. Oh, um, I see my friend, say it's my friend, he got back with his wife. He just get the sofa into two parts. <laughs> my God. And he just did to hit his kids and almost was hitting his wife. And what well, is terrible? Call that because he's angry. What's that? Because he has no control on his anger. Because our God has compassion on us. Our God sometimes he is sorry for us, and sometimes he is joyful with us when we did when we do his commandments. So emotions, your emotions is so dangerous. And at the same time, it's so good for you. So danger, so we have to control it. We control it by the Holy Spirit. We control it by sharing our feeling with others. We control it by making friends with the people who can control their feeling and their I will conclude my uh, talk that please just
just concentrate on the sermons or lectures you will take in these few days to come. So important if you are used to be able to control your emotion and to manage your emotion. So spend time with God, pray, read the Holy Gospel, just have some friends who are quite spiritual can help you and talk with you when you get angry, when you get nervous, when you get fear, and all these times. So God bless you. I wish you very good luck. Tomorrow we will pray together in the Holy Liturgy. And there is lots of, of uh, talk about emotions, but I leave that for the, our beloved Father guest speakers to talk with you in detail about emotions and how all types of emotions and how we can control it. May God bless you all.